Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to pad thai king prawns. Absolutely, in the wok. On the new Spirit 2 E310. So we've got all of our ingredients prepared for the pad thai. And one thing that I like to do is get them all in sequence. So um, that when you go to the barbecue, it, you don't have to look back at the recipe card. So at the top of the plate here, I've got my uh, red peppers that have just been sliced down nice and thinly. I've got some garlic that's been grated or, or crushed through a garlic crush. Uh, you've got your prawns, got a little pot with some salt and pepper in there. Two eggs, we've got our noodles. And in our dish here, we've got our marinade, our sauce that has soy sauce, fish sauce, it's got lime juice, cayenne pepper, and soft brown sugar as well. So these basically, once we know where we're starting, we just, that's the first ingredient that goes in, and then it's a, follow the plate around. Uh, in this dish here, we've got some garnish items, we've got some um, roasted peanuts, and we've got some sliced spring onions as well. Right, so let's go to the barbecue. I'm gonna bring the, uh, the oil. Can you bring the plate for me? Yeah. We've got the barbecue set up on a moderate heat. We're about, just about six o'clock on all the dials, so we're just over half. We're sitting at around about 200 degrees. Don't forget that cast iron barbecue accessories over direct heat will get hotter than the needle on the lid shows by about 50 degrees C. So a little bit of oil in the bottom there. And then we very simply, if I can just give you that back, very simply just start off at 12 o'clock with the peppers going in. Nice bit of sizzle. Nice bit of sizzle. Now it's important to get the right temperature on your wok. If you get it too hot, your ingredients are just going to burn. So you do want a nice little bit of sizzle, but you don't want it to be too fast. You want to be in control of the cooking. So just give those a stir around. A little tip that I picked up last year was that if you actually want to keep, if you want to cool down the ingredients as they cook, you can actually just stir them and that will stir in some cold air into that mixture. So if you, um, if you want to just cool things down a little bit, just give them a move around in the wok. Now these are gonna carry on cooking as we move through our ingredients. So I'm gonna pop our garlic in there as well and maybe one little prawn will rescue that so that it doesn't overcook or leave it in. There you go, just move that around on the bottom of the wok. Nice bit of fragrance there from the garlic. Does smell nice. Really important to keep the bottom of your wok nice and clean as well. If you notice anything start to stick, just use the tip of that wooden spoon just to give it a good scrape because anything that does stick will burn on you. So, now that we've got that garlic cooked out, time to go in with our prawns. Give those a turn around in the wok. Get them nicely coated with that garlic. Space them out, give them a bit of room on the bottom of the wok so that they can cook. And then what we're going to do is just give them a little pinch, a little season with some salt and pepper. Right. Just to allow that heat to build up again, because we are cooking with the, the lid open, we'll just spread those prawns and, and peppers out on the bottom of the wok and then we'll just pop the lid down, leave them for a few seconds just to regenerate a little bit of heat in there. Right, so let's have a look. Our prawns are changing colour nicely, so we'll just move those prawns and peppers around the edge of the wok so that we have a, a flat point in the centre. I'm going to give you one egg. This is trusting. No pressure. And then just into the middle of the wok. We we'll just let those, just let those start to set before we start to scramble them and mix the other ingredients back in. You see the change in colour instantly. You really can, one. yeah. There we go, and then we can start to bring that in, break the yolks. Try and get most of the egg cooked before we start to bring the other ingredients back in. 
And then what I'm going to get you to do, Ian, on the table there, you've got the little dish with the sauce in. Oh, yeah. Could we grab that? I'm just going to pop these noodles in as well. Do you want to pour the sauce in? We'll pop the noodles in. We'll coat these first, and then we'll pop that sauce in. Okay. So these are pre-cooked, or if you buy the dried ones, then just follow the instructions on the pack so that they are cooked before they go in at this stage. And then what we'll do is we'll drizzle that all the way over, if we can. There we go. Stir that round. You can really smell the fish sauce. It's just going to give us a nice savoury note. Again, keep the bottom of the wok nice and clean. Spread that out a little bit. We'll pop the lid down for another 30 seconds, 45 seconds or so, just to let those noodles warm back up and then we're ready to serve. Okay, so we are good to go now. Everything's nicely reheated. And if I can get you to pop that onto the trivet there Not for a problem. me. problem. Here we go. That'd be wonderful. I need my spoons. We'll bring the... Uh, we don't need the, the temperature probe for this one because we can just rely on the colour change in the prawns to tell us when we're ready. And then I'll just transfer this into our large bowl. It smells amazing. It does smell really good. And the great thing, as we always say with any fish recipe, the great thing about this is it smells great when you're cooking it, but the house doesn't stay smelling of fish for the next few days. So you keep all those aromas outside and you can get your wok really nice and hot. Um, to get that stir fry just right. Last few little bits, and then we'll garnish. So, a little bit of spring onion, and a few uh, dry roasted peanuts. And that is king prawn pad thai on the barbecue. So there you go, pad thai king prawn noodles on a barbecue. In a wok, what else do you need to know? So if you'd like to find out the uh, recipe for this dish, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. If you want to find out about the equipment we use, see the new Spirit 2 in the flesh, uh, find out about the GBS woks, the wok mm. system, I think, visit the uh, barbecue shop here at the garden centre. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. You like that, dude? You're going to try this one. I know you don't like fish that much, but... Oh, well. Let's have a taste. Big prawn. Big prawn going in. We'll keep the Phil and Holly comments to ourselves. That's like really that. tasty. Yeah. You should give this a try. So all that's left for me to say is see you next time. Thank you for watching.